And today I'm playing with Choya or Chola, C H O L L A. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Now, this cactus um, skeleton has got a lot of muck on it, so I'm cleaning it off with some uh, brush and then I'm putting it in sleeves. I'm making sleeves from plastic and I'm putting it into sleeves and then I will glue the sleeves onto a plate and this one is a it is like a plate X as a plate it's got a rim around it so it's not going if I've got any leaks it's not going to leak into my pressure pot tied it together that when I put some resin inside it's not going to fall over each of one of them individually uh, I wasn't sure how strong is the glue uh, the hot gun glue and now I'm going to use red with some red uh, interference and uh, pearl red and I will put it in my pressure pot overnight and that will be the next morning I'll take it out and I'll see what happened one of them leaked but not so bad so it will be one of them will be only half a cactus um, full and half will be empty so I'm going to keep it for another project and now after I've got all of them released I'm going to cut them into rings and I will see how they look like cut them into rings I chose um, two three large ones and three small ones and I hope that I've got enough um, for the project and you will see now how they look like it's they're quite interesting with the red inside it looks like a it looks like a like a candy um, I, I still don't think I'm thinking what type of a candy it looks like but it definitely looks like a candy you know the, the ones that you put like caramel or sugar ones and they they it's quite a big one and then you pull it and it becomes smaller uh, I, th I think it's a it's, it's a sugar it's, it's ah, I'll find out about it I'll discover it uh, my wife probably will tell me what it is I'll ask her she will tell me don't you know what it is so she will tell me this one is going to be the base of of the project you'll see the project is in three stages actually four stages and that will be the base and that will be the container, that will be the vessel. And I really don't know what type of a wood it is, but it's so porous. I tried one piece to stabilize, I can't even stabilize it, it's so porous. Um, it's not so much off center, it just looks like off center. I don't know, maybe because of the angle of the, um, of the camera, but now you can see that it's not really off center. And now I'm going, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to make it the same shape of the ball that you saw earlier, the green ball. Um, and this one will be smaller, but with the same shape of the ball, but much, much smaller than the outside of the ball. Now you can see it gives enough space and um, I will add to the end of it. I'll add the base that you saw me doing earlier. I will put it in the center. I'll put it with a little bit of um, hot gun glue and then you'll see what I do further with it. Quite, a, quite interesting. I think uh, it's unique. Uh, I saw other things done with uh, other projects done similar to that. And now I'm taking the chola or chayola and I will glue it on top with a hot gun glue and I'll have like flowers sitting on a, on a mold. Like I told you, I asked my wife, and she said it's called Image Candy. Let's take a snapshot on it for my thumbnail and continue. Now we have everything ready. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the same container. And I'm going to secure it with some tape. Put clear resin. I'm trying to 
take a chance and I'll put a clear resin, we'll see how it looks like. And then it will go into the pressure pot and this time I'll leave it overnight. Um, and that's the next day, uh, actually two days later. And I'm trying to take it without breaking the container because I want to use it for another day. And it moves, but it's something is stuck inside there. And we'll see how can we save it without breaking the... I think the wood at the bottom got stuck, but let's see. Yeah, I think it will come out. Yeah, it does. Hallelujah. Because it's um, clear and I had a mark at the center, so I could just try to look for this mark and then I'll have the whole thing balanced uh, straight and it will, it will be in the center. So let's see. Yeah, it's got a little bit of wobble, but nothing major. Here goes the chuck uh, key. And that's exactly the same what happens every time I work with um, with the black line tools. It, it takes such a nice rims and such a nice layers of, uh, of, of resin off. It becomes like a long, 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 long string. Look at that. Long, long strings. At this stage, I have to stop because I can't see anything anymore. And the play between the two cameras takes a little bit of... Uh, because one of them, is this one is, is sometimes getting blocked and sometimes this one is getting blocked. What I'm trying to get here is to the the area where all the uh, the cactus it's been it's been revealed and you can see the pattern of the cactus out of the resin totally from the clear resin and also from the red resin. Now you can see also the rim uh, of the wood that I put, um, I think it is Maranti. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, first of all, to square the bottom uh, and then to use the small, um, the mini um, black line tools to create the, uh, the base. And um, after that, I'm just going to make some um, marks on it. Uh, the, like every time that I do, I do the three lines for, and I'll use it later in, in a later stage. When I'll get there, I'll, I'll burn them. I can't burn them at the moment. and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, sandpaper it from uh, 120 all the way to um, 600, and then I'm going to do um, I'm going to use uh, water, water um, pads, uh, sandpaper, wet sandpaper, and um, do it all the way to the microfine, and the final the polish the final polish with um, uh, Nova Street 2 I'm going to leave for the last part when I'm turning it around and I'll finish the inside I will I'll polish it on both sides th at the same time uh, so I don't have to do it twice and it's not going to also it's not going to uh, mess around too much you can see how beautiful the colors came out you can't see the red yet Maybe because the angle of the um, of the camera, I'll clean a little bit the water, um, and I will put a tenant in the back of the. Um, I'll glue a tenant with the hot gun glue, and I'll turn it. I glue the tenant um, and I 
still keeping it on the same direction. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you noticed, but the flowers, the end of it, they were not covered completely with resin. Um, it was, it's not that it was not enough resin. I done it on purpose. So when you look at it from the, from the end, you will see the, the play of the, here, like you see the, the pattern. That's what I wanted to get, this pattern of the, of the cactus. And um, I, I straighten it because it will be less um, pressure on the, um, on the tenant um, when, when I do it like that. And now I'm going to square it again, get again center, because I'm going to leave the, um, the center, the revolving center, all the way to almost when it's finished, and then I'll cut it off. So I'll have a support all the time, because usually when you work with a recess, or with a tenant, because over there I had a recess that I glued the tenant. I just wanted to be sure that it's it's safe. Uh, I prefer to be uh, safe and, than sorry. And if it takes a little bit longer, then it takes a little bit longer. But at least I know, number one, I'm not going to lose the project and it's not going to fly on me and it hit, hit something and hit my car or something like that. And then I have to start from the beginning. Number two is not going to hurt me. So now still, I'm going. To, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, sandpaper it the rough sandpapering before with the revolving center with the revolving center on a safety and now i'm going to take it off and clear the bottom nicely get the whole line of the of the piece of wood that i had inside the um, maranti and now i'm going to start sandpaper it again all the way from 120 all the way to water sandpapering and then i'll do the Yorkshire grid, not the Yorkshire grid, sorry, on this one I'm going to do the Novas 3-2 because I've got a lot of uh, resin here, so I'm going to do the Novas, the 3-2 Novas and hopefully it will be clear, clear, clear. Um, I left it a little bit thick, so I don't know how clear it's going to be, but let's see. Novos on the inside and outside. That's the last, the last um, part. And then I'll put a little bit of um, uh, bee wax on the wood at the bottom of the wood and on the other side of the wood. burning some lines and uh, then I'll clean it, put my logo on and yes, I think it looks like those candies, the hard candies. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new, uh, thumbs up or thumb down and very important, don't forget to comment and I'll see you on my next video. Cheers!